our world there's animals all around and you have questions can you down ranger ray is here to show by talking to those animal pros with the critter calm we see the world a new adventure will unfold you'll become an animal champ here at ranger ray's animal camp <laughs> Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host, Ranger Ray, and today we have a special nighttime episode for you, because we're going to be answering the question, do owls turn their heads all the way around? I mean, I've seen some crazy videos of owls where they can turn their heads in weird ways, but can they go all the way around in a full circle? Well, I don't know, but I bet with your help, we can figure this out. So without further ado, let's head to the Critter Com. So let's go. Well, hey there, Crittercom! <laughs> Crittercom, we're on! There's no, not the pony. Crittercom, wake up! <laughs> what? What was that? Uh, oh, Ranger Ray, what are you doing waking me up? I was in sleep mode! Well, you gotta wake up, sleepyhead! Because today we're calling an animal that is not. Nocturnal. Nocturnal animals are animals that sleep during the day and are awake at night. So we can't call till after dark. <sighs> all right, all right, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, just please promise me that this calling nocturnal animals is not going to be a regular thing. I promise, Crittercom, next week, no nocturnal animal calls. Good. All right, what's our question for tonight? Well, we're trying to answer the question, can owls turn their heads all the way around? I don't know. And to be honest, I'm too tired to try and answer. What if I just call all of the owls? Sounds perfect, Crittercom. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, hello. Who's there? Oh, hey, Oliver. Oh, Ranger Ray and Crittercom. Great to see you on this lovely evening. <laughs> it's great to see you too, but we had a question for you. Can owls turn their heads all the way around? Oh, splendid question, Ranger Ray. Here, let me show you. But first, when you look at an owl, what's one of the first things you notice? Oh, those huge eyes! Yes! Compared to our size, our eyes are absolutely enormous! Our eyes take up most of the space in our skulls, and we need our eyes to be that big, as most owls are nocturnal, meaning we are awake at night and asleep during the day. Having bigger eyes means it's easier for us to see at night. Bigger eyes allow us to take in as much light as possible around us, making it easier to see. Now, Ranger Ray, do me a favor and look in one direction. Oh, okay. Uh, you mean like this? Yes. Now, without moving your head, move your eyes to look all around the room. Okay. Could you do that pretty easily? Actually, yeah, that was super easy. Well, we owls can't do that. Our eyes are so big that there's not enough room for us to have muscles to move our eyes like that. So instead, we have to turn our whole head to look in a certain direction. Oh, that helps us out a lot with our question. We now see why owls turn their heads around so far, but can you guys go all the way around? Well, we owls do have very flexible necks, but they can't go all the way around. But we can get very close. Going in a full circle is also called going 360 degrees. So we can't go the full 360, but we can make it to 270 degrees. Wow, that's very impressive. I can't even swivel my monitor that far. Wow, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Oliver, for all your help. No problem, Ranger Ray. Anytime you want to explore the wonders of the night or anything else, give me a hoot. Hoot! So, owls can't spin their heads all the way around, but they can get pretty close. And they need that ability because they can't move their eyes. So, in order to see all the way around them, they need to be able to move their heads. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is amazing. Very impressive. Oh, but I think I need to fly on back to bed. Oh, yeah. It is getting pretty late. So, that would make sense why you... <sighs> wow. 
was fast. Probably the whisper so we don't wake him up. So thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night, CritterCom. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, Mom, I'd like to ride the pony, please.